With 25,000 XP in the bank, we're going to be upgrading Denard Robinson and Menelik Watson's Gatorade development from normal to quick. This will help them gather XP in the future later quicker. Anyway, I don't know if that made sense. Either way, uh, that was kind of my initial strategy heading into the season is I wanted to save all my XP to get my young guys up. Uh, because I really didn't expect to be doing that well this year. In fact, I expected to kind of be in a tanking type of situation. But anyway, the 6-2 and two Philadelphia Eagles enter the 6-1 and one Oakland Raiders home stadium, the Odako Coliseum. This will be the first team with a winning record that the Raiders have faced all year. Uh, every other team at this current point in Week 8 has a losing record. So this is really the first real test for the Oakland Raiders. We'll see how they do. Chip Kelly has done wonders for this Eagles team, turning them around into a 6-2 and two team so far through 8 weeks on the season. And now, here we go to start out the game. The first play from scrimmage. Head up to Shady McCoy. McCoy up the middle. That's going to be a nice 13-yard pickup for LaShawn McCoy, the former Pitt Panther. Now, empty backfield. Second and 10. Vic scrambles to his left. He's got some space. He picks up a block. We'll get brought down right there by the Oakland defender, but he picks up about nine yards either way. Now third and one, play action fake, it's a read option. Mick loses the ball right there, as that was forced by Carmen Messina, but the receiver Johnson is there to recover it, and the Eagles will retain possession. Now second and eight from the 44-yard line, Vic out of the shotgun set once again, fires over the middle, caught by Jeremy Macklin, the former Missouri Tiger. That's going to be Macklin's first catch of the year, and that is going to be an 18-yard pickup. Not of the year, of the game, I should say. Second and 10 from the 26, Vic to the left side, caught by Jason Avant, and Avant will pick up nine yards on the hitch route, and that is going to set up a third and one. Now, I formation for the Eagles. It's going to be a play action fake. Vic fires it to Casey in the flat. Casey makes a man miss, and he is gone into the end zone for the touchdown. And the Eagles strike first, as it's going to be a 7 0 ball game after the touchdown by the Ted and Casey. And the Eagles' potent offense is showing itself early on. They will receive the punt here on 4th and 7 from the 24. Johnson, he cuts to the outside, cuts back in, makes a man miss. He fumbles, but it's going to be recovered by the Eagles. And now 2nd and 6 from the 30 coming up on this play. Vic is going to drop back, fire it to LaShawn McCoy out of the backfield. McCoy down the right sideline. He could get there. He will be brought down by his man. But that is going to be a huge pickup. Now to the 1-yard line, 1st and goal. Vic going to drop back. Feels the rush, fires it. Jeremy Macklin on the reception. Touchdown, Eagles. And it's an early 14-0 lead for the Philadelphia Eagles. I mentioned earlier, this offense has been absolutely unstoppable so far under Chip Kelly. And they are really showing why right here. Fourth and inches. Beanie Wells in the handoff. He gets stopped. And the Raiders will not retain possession as the Eagles get the ball at about the 39-yard line. They tried to go for it on a fourth and goal. They felt they needed to get some offense going as the defense has done absolutely nothing to stop the Eagles so far. Vic drops back, fires over the middle, caught by Aurelius Ben. Ben makes a man miss, and he could go all the way. He will be brought down, but first and goal from the one-yard line. Shotgun set Vic, little read option action, hands it off to McCoy, and McCoy punches it in, and it's already 21-0. Eagles on top. Still in the first quarter, so the Eagles are on pace for over 80 this game. Now the Raiders in the next offensive possession. Pryor scrambling to his right. Fires that one. An awful throw picked off by Bradley Fletcher. Fletcher with the interception. One of the new members of the Eagles secondary this year. As a starter, he will pick up the pick. And now the Eagles will take over from the 38-ish yard line. Hand off to McCoy to the left side. Cuts back in. And he is having quite the day through the ground so far. Nine carries for 49 yards. And that is going to set up a third and seven out from the 20, from the third from the 42-yard line. Vic over the middle. Caught by Shady McCoy out of the backfield. One of the best third down backs in the NFL. He picks up the first down from the 27. Now first and 10 empty backfield for Vic. He will drop back. He's got time. Fires to the right side. Caught by Aurelius Ben. More missed tackles from the Raiders as... This team's tackling has been just awful so far this entire season. Third and nine, and Vic is going to drop back, needing a conversion right here. Vic is going to step up in the pocket, avoids the hit, of makes a man miss. Carmen Messina looking foolish right there. A couple more juke moves, and Vic is in. 28 points already for the Eagles. Michael Vic is having his way. This entire rushing attack from the Eagles has been extremely successful so far. The Raiders have just had some awful tackling so far in this ballgame. They're going to need to make some defensive adjustments if they want to slow down this Chip Kelly-led offense. Now Pryor on the next possession for the Raiders is going to drop back here, scramble to his right. He's looking, doesn't really have anyone. Finally fires that one, caught by Mike Thomas, one of the newer additions to the team in just his second game as a Raider. Picks up a 29-yard gain right there. Now it's going to be a handoff to Denard Robinson back up the middle, and Robinson 
fighting his way in between the tackles. Something he doesn't do too often, but he picks up about 9 or 10 yards right there. Now we got Hayden Smith in motion. I formation and off to Beanie Wells on the second and inches play. Wells will pick up the first down as he gets 8 on the carry. Now I formation once again on third down. It's going to be another handoff to Beanie Wells who cuts to the outside. He doesn't do this too often, but he makes a man miss and will pick up a huge chunk right there. First and goal. Coming up inside the 5-3rd and going from the one hand off to Wells. And Beanie Wells is into the end zone. The Raiders get on the board. They're going to need to do that a bit more often if they want to keep up with the Seagulls offense. But they get 7 for now. And that's going to cut it as it will be a 28-7 ball game. Now, still 28 to 7, 426 to play. Vic is in the shotgun set. Read option. He's got some space. He's going to try and pick up a block. He could go across the 30 to the 20, 15, 10, 5 touchdown. Michael Vick, a huge touchdown run for the Eagles. And they can put him up in a hurry as they have shown so far today. 35 to 7, first and 10 now as the Raiders have the ball at about the 40. That is picked off to Miko Ryans as. Pryor was rushed on the play, had to get it off, made a bad throw, was tipped, and landed right in D'Amico Ryan's hands. And Ryan's is going to pick up the pick six. It is 42-7, a blowout in the Coliseum right now, as it has been an awful day for the Raiders' offense and an even worse day for their defense. As here we go now, second and nine, the Raiders will take over from the 42, and that is intercepted by Patty Chung. So Pryor with three interceptions so far today, two of them on awful throws, one of them on, you know, just a... Fluke play by D'Amico Ryans, but those the first and the third interception just absolutely awful throws from this third year quarterback. That's a nice pickup for the Eagles. Second and nine now from the 36 yard line. Vic gonna drop back fire left side, caught by his man Johnson. That'll be a first down. Johnson's second catch on the day. He's got 22 receiving yards. Now offset eye to the right side. Vic drops back. He feels the rush. Fires that one into the flat. Caught by Casey. Casey looking for his second, and he will get it. His second receiving touchdown of the ball game. The seventh offensive or the sixth, I should say. Offensive touchdown for the Eagles. Seven total, and it's 49 to 7. Now the Eagles once again hand off to Shady McCoy. We're still in the third quarter. Spin move. DJ Hayden on the rush. He will finally bring him down. The rookie out of Houston, the first round draft pick, will finally get him down. But second and five now from the 13. Hand off to Bryce Brown, the backup. Bryce Brown will pick up about four yards right there. Third and one coming up for the Eagles. A rare third down opportunity for the Raiders to stop him. He, they would convert now first and 10 from the 11 yard line. Brown out of the backfield. Touchdown Eagles, 56 points, ladies and gentlemen, and it's not even the fourth quarter yet. What an offensive showcase from the Philadelphia Eagles. Bryce Brown, the backup, getting some repetitions in. Here we go, ensuing kickoff, Taiwan Jones. He's going to cut back to the middle. He's got some space on the outside. He could go. Sav Rock on the chase. He will not pick him up. He's got the corner, and he could go all the way inside of the 10-5 touchdown. Taiwan Jones and the special teams being one of the lone bright spots so far today as Jones has also had a pair of really nice punt returns so far in the day. But that will make it 56-14. to 14. Really, even though it's the third quarter, still not a lot of chance for the Raiders to try and make a comeback as the call seems pretty quiet at this point. But now on the next Eagles possession, first and 10, Vic feels the rush. He's going to get sacked right there by B.J. Raji, his second sack of the game. And the Eagles would punt it away later in the drive. So the defense finally starting to get something going. We're going to take over now from about the 39-yard line. First and 10, Robinson to the outside. Denard, he's going to try and cut back. He'll be brought down, but he picks up nine yards on the game. Just his sixth carry of the day. We've been looking through the air a lot, being behind by so much. But Pryor is going to drop back. Fire that one left side. Caught by his man, Denarius Moore, who is back this week for the first time after missing the past four games due to a broken collarbone. Now play action fake prior looking into the flat caught by Dan Gronkowski. Touchdown Raiders. Just a second offensive touchdown of the ball game for the Raiders. But Dan Gronkowski gets it done. The fullback recently signed after the trading of Marcel Reese. And that is going to make it a 56-21 to 21 ball game. So the Raiders not getting completely blown out. Matt Scott now into the game. We're going to get to back up some reps. As that is going to be dished off to Mike Thomas. Mike Thomas and Marcos Wilson taking over some of the receiving duties. As the Raiders will try to figure out what exactly they have in these two recently signed free agents. Scott looking over the middle. Caught by Rod Shooter who gets hit hard. And that is going to force an injury on one of the Eagles players. Third and three coming up from the 24-yard line. Shotgun set. Scott, the rookie out of Arizona, undrafted. He will find his man, Marcus Wilson, the seventh-round draft pick out of Washington State. And that'll be a new first down now. Second and goal from the seven-yard line. Offset eye. Scott going to drop back. Scramble to the right. He's got space, and he's got speed. Touchdown, Matt Scott. His first NFL touchdown. Formerly a member of the Jacksonville Jaguars, he was an undrafted free agent signed by them, but was traded in the deal that included Denard Robinson and Kelvin Burnett. But the Eagles would take over and run the last five minutes off of the clock. 
Eagles come away with the victory, a dominating performance from their offense. The Raiders cut it down to a 28-point ball game in garbage time, but this one was an absolute blowout, folks. One of the highest scoring affairs in recent memory in the NFL, and in the final score will be 56-28. to so the Raiders end up losing. They fall to 6-2. and two. Their six-game winning streak comes to an end. Hopefully the magical run on this team will not also come to an end. The Eagles improved to 7-2, and two, a very impressive season from them so far. We might look to see them in the Super Bowl in the future. Not sure if the Raiders will quite get there, but I think we can uh, make a safe bet that the Eagles will at least be in contention for that come January and possibly February. D'Amico Ryan to get your player of the game. He got a sack, a touchdown on that pick six earlier. That's going to wrap this video for me, so I thank you guys for watching. Hope you did enjoy. And just out. Peace.